Salutations, my friends. We're going to read a fun fiction book today. In this book, the author uses his imagination. He creates a book character that does something fun, and I think you're going to enjoy it. It's called Norman the Slug with the Silly Shell. Look at the front cover. Do you see Norman? And look at his shell. What is it? Can you tell? Is that a donut with sprinkles? Let's read this wonderful book by Sue Hendra and see what happens to Norman. The illustrations are so pretty, guys, with lots of different colors. It says, Norman the Slug thought snails were great. Wow, said Norman. Look at them. They're amazing. There's a whole bunch of snails. Do you see them? All different colored shells. It looks like they're all stacked up on top of each other. And Norman is admiring them. Now, let's look closer at Norman. Does he have a shell or is he just a little slug? That's right. He's just a slug. He doesn't have a shell yet. Hmm. It says, unfortunately, the snails did not think Norman was so great. When he jumped on top of them, whee! Crash! What happened to the big stack of snails? They all fell down. Norman, you silly slug, they said. You've spoiled our fun. This only works if you have a shell. Poor Norman. Look at his face. He felt left out and sad. It says he skulked off into the moonlight. Moonlight. So it must be nighttime. Look, look at poor Norman. He just wanted to be a part of the fun. But now he's going off all by himself. He said, if only I had a shell of my own. Look at him. He's looking at his reflection in the pond. Then he got an idea. Maybe I could have a shell after all. So he's looking at this reflection of himself on the water, and it's giving him an idea. Look at that reflection, guys. What is it that Norman is seeing that looks like it's a shell on him? the moon. I wonder what his idea will be. It says finding a shell was not easy for Norman. One was too bouncy and one was too noisy. Look, he tied a tennis ball on him and an alarm clock. That didn't work. It says one was already taken. Look, he tied an apple onto himself, but there was a worm already living in it. Down here, it says he needed time to think. So there he goes again, off by himself to think. And he's heading toward this pile of discarded food. Do you see that? I see a can that looks like it's kind of crunched. I see an apple core. And I see a box of donuts, or at least with one donut in it. Now, have we seen a donut before in this book? We did, on the front cover, remember? Ta-da! A shell, he said, and it was perfect. What did he use as his shell? That's right, it's that sprinkled donut. Norman was so happy. Now, he could join the other snails at last. And he did, look, he loved being a snail and the snails loved Norman's silly shell. So his friends are happy, he's happy, he's got a new shell, but that didn't last very long. Suddenly there was a loud flap of wings and a bird came down, look out, said the snails, slither for your life or we'll end up as supper. Uh-oh, there's the snails, there's Norman, and here comes a bird. 
Do birds eat snails and slugs? Hmm. Well, the bird was more interested in Norman's silly shell. It looked delicious. Norman was being carried up into the sky. What could he do? Look, do you see the bird holding him upside down? If that was you, if you were Norman with the donut shell, what would you do if a bird tried to carry you away? Norman did the only thing he could. He made slime, lots of it. And with a slither and a slather, he got free. Look at him. Do you see him dripping all that sticky green slime? That probably made it very hard for that bird to hold on to him. But he was falling faster and faster and faster. Do you see his donut? It came off and he's falling upside down. What's going to happen to Norman? Plop. Norman, are you okay? asked the snail. Wow, said Norman. That was great. I love flying. If only I had wings, he thought. Okay, there's Norman hanging on a clothesline. There's some purple underwear hanging there. Do you have an idea what Norman might try next for a shell? Look closely at that illustration. Do you think he's going to try the purple underwear? Let's see. Ta-da! He did. Look at him. He's using the underwear for wings. And he's flying with the birds now. And that's the end of this wonderful imaginative story called Norman the Slug with the silly shell. I hope you liked it, my friends. See you next time.